Hi guys and welcome back to Three Layers Deep. Today I will be discussing how um, the sunlight actually causes a wrinkle. All right, we all know that it does age the skin, but you you know you want to know how. And I'm the type of person that wants to know the why of the why. For every action, there's a reaction, and I just want to know. You know, I've always. Even in school, I used to chase the teachers around with my books, like, you know, but why does this happen? And why does that happen? And it, it would come to the point that they, they would be like, Jasmine, I don't know. <laughs> so it was that bad. I really, I'm very detail oriented and I like to know the details of everything and, and why certain things happen. So if you're like me, you're pretty much going to enjoy this video. Okay. So, uh, free radicals. All right, you know that free radicals are absorbed by um, the molecules in your skin. I'm sorry, they are activated by the sunlight, which the sunlight is absorbed by the molecules in your skin. And once the free radicals have been um, um, absorbed, all right, it causes all sorts of other reactions, all right? And if you don't know what a free radical is, it's just an oxygen molecule that has lost an electron and in the journey to heal itself, it starts to steal electrons from other healthy um, oxygen molecules causing just, it's just wreaking havoc in your body, which does cause aging, all right? And it causes inflammation and all sorts of other things. And I'm going to be speaking about inflammation um, in my next video because it actually correlates with this whole, um, you know, how wrinkles take place and how it accelerates the aging process, okay? Now, the sunlight also um, produces... Um, an enzyme, all right? It actually produces an, an enzyme that breaks down fats in your cells, all right? And this uh, fat breakdown process causes a chemical, a chemical called arachidonic acid. And arachidonic acid is a precursor molecule um, to inflammation, all right? So it, it, it's actually the beginning of a molecule that causes inflammation. And again, like I just finished explaining, inflammation accelerates aging. So inflammation is no good. All right. Now the free radicals. Now, once your skin has activated, has been, uh, has activated the free radicals, um, it, it turns on this other chemical, which is called transcription factor. And transcription factors is just a chemical messenger that, um, in your DNA that tells your, tells, uh, or it produces proteins um, that tell your cells what to do, all right? Now, normally transcription factors float around harmlessly in the cell, all right? But once it has been activated by, um, a f by free radicals, it actually migrates to the center of the cell called the nucleus. And once it migrates to the center of the cell called the nucleus, it turns on DNA for production of various chemicals. And in the case of transcription factor NFKB, which is just a protein complex that, um, that is a pretty much just controls um, controls the transcriptions of DNA, all right? And once that, um, in the case of that one, is actually pro-inflammatory, all right? And again, if, pro -inf if something that's inflammatory is going to cause aging, it's going to accelerate the aging process. Now, once that takes place, it's going to, again, another reaction, is going to cause AP1 to be, um, to be activated. And AP1 is just, again, another molecule, a uh, protein complex that... Um, it is actually regulates gene expressions in response to a variety of stimuli. All right. Now the NFKB, it's actually involved in the cellular in the cellular responses to stimuli such as stress. Um, these are things that can you know activate it, like stress, UV radiation, as well as free radicals. All right. Now once AP1 has been stimulated by ultraviolet uh, radiation, it starts to produce an um, collagen digesting enzymes all right and once the collagen has starts to be, starts to become digested by these enzymes it starts to cause tiny defects in your skin and as you guessed that these tiny defects are the birth of a wrinkle and these are called micro scarring all right so basically 
Um, the AP1 that has been stimulated by the sunlight or by the UV radiation turn on these collagen digesting enzymes that break down and eat up the collagen in your skin. All right, and as we know, collagen is what keeps our skin plump and smooth and wrinkle free. And once that has been attacked mercilessly by free radicals, which free radicals cause all these other actions taking place, um, that's how wrinkles start to form. All right, so it is very very important that you protect your skin a really high SPF on your face if possible as well as your body so I just thought that was pretty cool that uh, you know how the birth of wrinkle takes place you know and it is all caused from pretty much extrinsically and that's from the Sun the Sun is responsible for about 80% or more of um, aging all right obviously you age intrinsically also um, and you can actually you can actually um, hold back the hands of time as long as you're eating very um, like nutrient rich foods especially those that are um, anti-inflammatory as well as antioxidants okay so my next video I will be discussing inflammation or, and how inflammation um, correlates or comes or gathers in all this information that I just gave you so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video God bless you